The Pirates of Coney Island is about, it's a story about a group of runaways in, in Coney Island that are basically car thieves. They jack cars uh, with pirate style. So they have, instead of having a ship, they have a van that flies the pirate flag and they creep out at night and hunt for cars, you know, that have, you know, the appropriate blue book value. And then, you know, with swashbuckling action, they basically attack these cars at high speeds on the runway or the roadway and, and, and steal them. And, uh, and then what we have is we have the boy gang that's the pirates and then there's another gang called the Cherries, that's a girl gang, and they're sort of competing for the turf of Coney Island because being that it's right there on the water, there's, there's sort of lots of money to be had. There's the cars, there's tourists and stuff like that. And so it's sort of a, you know, it's sort of a property to, to, to be treasured and, and to go after. Um, and then as the Cherries and the Pirates sort of fight with each other, there's also sort of an undercurrent of sexual tension and, and sort of romance worked in there as well. Which is probably no surprise, and we're, it's definitely influenced uh, things like the Warriors and stuff like that. My biggest problem with the Warriors is we sort of never got to really see them in Coney Island. They're you know they're trying to get back to Coney Island, and at the end we see them there. But um, but that's definitely a big influence, obviously, um, as well as like all kinds of like other like teenage teen movies and stuff like that. And I, I really wanted to do sort of a, a violent love story, so that's how it came about. For the Pirates of Coney Island, we have the, the Pirate Gang, which is the main character, uh, is sort of our vehicle into the story, is a guy named Patch. And all these kids sort of have code names because they don't want to give away their real name or too much information about their, their sort of true selves because then they, if they get picked up by the cops or whatever, they'll get sent home. So Patch, and he gets the nickname Patch because in the first issue he gets his eye sliced out by one of the girls in the cherries by, by Trish. And so, you know, Pirates of Coney Island, he's shortly thereafter is outfitted with an eye patch. Um, but then we also have Black Jack, who is the sort of captain. Um, and then there's Knievel, who's the driver, who drives the van. He's sort of the, the mechanic and stuff. Um, there's Tats, who's sort of the tough guy. He's covered with tattoos. And then there's Zeus, who's the sort of, he's the younger, he's like 12 years old, and he never speaks, but he sees everything. So he's sort of the lookout. He spots the cars that they're looking for. Um, and that's the pirate gang. And then they fight the, the cherries. And the cherries are led by Trish, who's just this sort of nasty, like, tattooed and pierced, like, awesome girl who's just as violent as they come. And then there's Darcy, who's the sort of Knievel equivalent. She's the driver uh, for the cherries. Um, and then there's uh, Trish, Darcy, I'm blanking. Bubbles. Bubbles. Thank you. Uh, there's also Bubbles with the Cherries, who is just another tough chick that just throws down. Uh, there's Cleo, who's the younger girl that sort of Zeus's um, Zeus's double. And then there is one more, Heather. There's also Heather, who's got she's like the Mohawk flying. You know, they're all tough chicks. <laughs> they're you know they they they're fairly nasty, rumbling girls that that are not to be trifled with, and they are out for blood and Coney Island. So, I met Vasilis. That's one of those sort of roundabout stories. Um, Becky Clunan, who was in. I think she was in Virginia at the time, was coming into New York to sort of visit and hang out and stuff. And she was supposed to stay with Brandon Cram, uh, another artist, a writer and artist. Um, and Brandon is sort of notoriously flaky. Um, and of course he vanishes when it's time for Becky to hook up with him and, you know, and hang out with him and stay at his place. Um, so with no place to stay, you know, I was like, no, you know, no problem, you know, just hang out here. And so we hung out at my house and uh, we ended up staying like, staying up all night long just like reading comics and like talking comics and just having a good time. And uh, she had, she showed me this comic that she got from this kid in Greece, this guy Vasilis. And it was just amazing. And it was this book he did in Greece and it was just, it was so cool. And, uh, and she was like, yeah, he, you know, he's looking to try to get into to American comics. And I was like, well, right on. And I had this, this pirate script that I already started. And I talked to Rob G about doing the art, but you know, it was right after teenagers and he felt that the, the story was a little, being about teenagers and stuff that it was sort of similar to teenagers in a way that might not be fair to either story you know the, they would seem too similar so so you know decided to get another artist so I was sort of you know quietly looking for another person to draw it and then when I saw Vasily's stuff I was like I gotta get this guy so I started sending him emails you know to Greece 
and we started talking about it and, and we'd actually started another project first um, this book called Valentine that's sort of on the shelf right now um, but when the whole image thing started coming through and they like pirates I decided to do, to do pirates um, together and and it was just I mean he was just amazing Vasilis is actually from Greece um, and he came over and, from Greece and we went down to Coney Island before we really got started on the series. I was already writing this, the script because I had been there myself a few times, but we took Vasilis down there and started running him around and, and got to sort of breathe in the sort of Coney Island-ness of it. And we went right on the sort of off-season a little bit where it's like a little weirder. There, there, there aren't so many tourists there and stuff and it's, it's a little creepy and a little seedy and you know, it's the way we like it. Um, and so, yeah, we went down there and took a ton of like reference pictures that, that Vasilis uses constantly, um, and, and you know went on the rides and, and checked it out and just had a blast. And so, yeah, we definitely went and did our research, and that's that was the fun part. 